In times like 1932, there are always those who, though they might waver, still cling to the maxim, better the devil you know than the one you don't. Hoover had the advantage of having held office, and for the State of the Union, he had his answers. When the political and economic weaknesses of many nations in Europe, the result of the World War and its aftermath, finally culminated in the collapse of their institutions, the delicate adjustment of our economic and social and governmental life received a shock unparalleled in our history. Yet these forces were overcome, perhaps by an anabolic. It demonstrates that our form of government has the capacity. It demonstrates what the courage of a nation can accomplish under resolute leadership of the Republican Party. So spoke Hoover. The Democrat approach was more human, more down-to-earth. In typical style, Will Rogers pledges his support to FDR. Here tonight, Governor, you are not allowed to refer to politics. They won't let anyone talk politics in here because this stadium was dedicated to art, sports, and uh, any uh, useful enterprises. <laughs> you here tonight, not as candidate Roosevelt, but just as neighbor Roosevelt from the other side of the Rocky Mountains. Now, this introduction hasn't been very, uh, well, you know, it hasn't been very, perhaps, very uh, uh, learned or very flowery, but uh, remember, you're only a candidate. <laughs> As a president, I'll do right by you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> because I'm certainly wasting no oratory on a prospect. <laughs> But in the ultimate, it's up to the people. On voting day, little point in wooing and pleading, for by then they've made up their minds. All you can do is wait and see. Wait and see. While the lights come up in the richest country in the world. While those whose job it is to count, count. So, in an atmosphere of tense excitement, you hang about the streets, and while waiting, maybe you hold a little celebration, in case it might turn into a wake. And though American, sometimes your celebration takes the form, as in Chinatown, of things that your people enjoyed long before any United States existed. But then, that's freedom, to celebrate any way you like. But if you're a real enthusiast in politics, then you're still right in there pitching. If college yells and ballyhoo could win an election, the Republicans had 1932 in the bag. <laughs> Al Smith, on the other hand, following the pattern of millions, merely tuned in and awaited the count. For though personally disappointed, Al wanted a democratic victory more than anything else in the world. And finally, when a trickle of results became a flood, Al was able to sit back and smile. In the final count, a landslide. FDR lost only six states in a country of 48. Yes, indeed, it was some victory. After all those years, a new administration that was Democrat. But between election and inauguration, there are quite a few weeks. And in those weeks, anything could happen. When the president-elect was visiting Miami, Florida, there in the darkness, someone took a shot at him. The culprit was marched off. But though he'd missed his aim, he'd found a target. Miami's Mayor Cermak. So in place of Franklin Roosevelt, Mayor Cermak lost his life. It is reported that before he died, one of the last things he said was, I'm glad that it was me.
Another for the White House. Another with promises about prosperity in that inevitable corner. But when you're down, well, a politician's words are just words. Democracy has disappeared in several other great nations, not because the people of those nations disliked democracy, but because they had grown tired of unemployment and insecurity, of government confusion, government weakness, Finally, in desperation, they chose to sacrifice liberty in the hope of getting something to eat. We in America know that our own democratic institutions can be preserved and made to work. But in order to preserve them, we need to act together to meet the problems of the nation boldly and to prove that the practical operation of democratic government is equal to the past. Just words from a politician. Yet in their determination and resolve, the rounding of a corner at last, the return of a people to the roots of their strength, a kind of coming home. force at our command, and I am determined to do my share.